Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today, I will teach you how to make a notepad app. So this video will continue as a series and in the series we will discuss how to improve this notepad that we create today to make it a more modern looking and a better notepad than the current default Windows notepad. Probably Microsoft will update the Windows notepad to suit the Windows 11 user interface but until then we will develop this notepad app. So in this video I will talk about the most basic ones like creating a project and then designing the user interface and then making a new document, saving documents and opening documents. As the video series progresses we will develop this application into a more functional one. So without any further ado let's get started. So first we will create a new project and this is going to be CLR empty project. You can find this by searching CLR empty project and you should choose clrmdproject.net framework if you see two of those like this choose the .net framework one and then click next and i'll give it a name like notepad app i will call this notepad app video and let's create the project so after that's done let's go to the project's properties and then go to linker system and change the subsystem to windows and in advanced let's at the end point as main and now let's add a new item, add a new item. So here I will choose UI, Windows form, and let's add a Windows form. Now, if you get this error, then you can just close that and go to the solution explorer, right click on your project, unload project, and then right click on it again and click reload project. And now if you double click on the myform.h file, then you can open the form. Now I will go to the myform.cpp file and let's go to the template code. I will put a link in the description and I will put this as a pinned comment. I cannot put this in the description because YouTube doesn't allow those curly brackets we are going to use. So there will be a link in the description for this code or you can just copy from the pinned comment. So let's go to this URL and I will copy all of this and let's go to Visual Studio and paste that. I will delete this line and let's change the project name to the project name we chose like this. Let's save and close. Now, if all those steps were a bit complicated, you can watch basics videos and I will put a link in the description and I'll put a link as the card above. So you can watch that series and come back here so that you know the basics of Windows Forms applications in C++. So let's go through some settings of the form. So I will change the text to not bad. And then as the font, let's choose some nice one like Sego UI and okay so let's run the application to see whether everything works perfectly okay so the app works so now let's start designing the form so let's go to the toolbox and I will grab something called a menu strip so a menu strip is something like what you see right here it's just the menu you use in all everyday application and in the menu strip you can type whatever you want so I will type file because that's how you design menu strips normally and then as a sub menu item I will put new and then I will put save and then I will put open because these are the three items that I'm gonna code in this video so those are the three things we need to code so now we need a text box obviously we need something to type on so I will add the text box and let's go here and make it multi-line so that we can type multiple lines on the text box so let's go to the properties of the text box so now let's go all the way down and I will make this as top mode as fill now we can start the coding part so the first thing we need to create is the new function so I will just double click on that and let's go here and type that's very easy actually we are, all we have to do is just text box one clear that's all actually this is not how you should implement the new function this should be a bit more complicated than this because we have to check whether the file was already saved and then present the user a message box so that he can save the application if he's making a new document without saving the application all those stuff we will do in the future because those are a little bit complicated and if you want to check what the end result would be i'll put a link in the description for something i created earlier or you can just go to darknotepad.ml and download that and from here you can download it you can try it and see what things i have done in the end product and we will be recreating that in the progress of this video if you want that's some insight to the end product for today we will just make these simple things that we need to make this notepad a little bit functional without the boring stuff so let's go back to the form and let's double click on the save button so now we need 
a new namespace so i will go all the way up here and i will type using namespace system and here i will use io okay so with this namespace we will be able to use the stream reader and stream writer objects which we can use to write and read files in the code below so let's go back to our event handler since we are going to save the document i will create a stream writer so this is how you create that stream writer then here i will give it a name like sw and then you will create the object like this and the constructor requires one parameter which is the path to which the file should be when the application is writing so right now we will just create a file manually in the code hard code the file and in the future we will add a save file dialog and then the user can choose where the file should be saved so for right now i will just add application startup path so this gives us where the application is when it is launched and then i will add two backslashes so with these we can add one backslash to the path this is because backslash is used as the escape character command so we need to add two backslashes to use the backslash in a string so this is just c++ basic all of you should know that by now so here i will add just text.txt and this will create a file called text.txt when we click on the save to script inviter now it is not enough that we create the file we actually need to save the content in the text box into this file so to do that i will just type sw write and in here we need to pass the string that we want to save or write so to do that i will type text box one and the text inside of it so this will get the text from the text box and pass it to the sw object which will then write those text into this file so let's implement the last one and then see how the program works so let's go here and type stream reader because now we are reading a file so stream reader and i will give this a name as sr and this is going to be gc new stream reader and this also requires a path as the parameter so i will just copy the same thing like this and again we are just hard coding this stuff today if you have some knowledge about open file dialogs and save file dialogs from somewhere else then you can apply that knowledge here and use the stream write and stream reader objects but right now i will just hard code the path and in a future video we will add that functionality as well so right now i will just hard code all of this stuff so here we need to read to end the content in that file so this is just a function this will read everything in that file and then return that as a string so now we will get that string and assign it to our text box so to do that let's type text box one and text and the text box's text is gonna be equal to the content in the file that this stream read object has read so which is this file so now that everything is done we can run the application now we can type something here and if i click on new it will clear the content in the text box just like that and now if i open it gives us a exception because it says that the file was not found so first what i will do is i'll run the application again and first let's save the document so that we have a file in that path so i will save that and i will create a new file and now i will open it and again we get another exception this is because the stream write object has opened the file and has not closed it and since one application is already using that file the other application or in this case the other object cannot access it so what we need to do is actually close that object manually so to do that let's just simply type sw close it's that simple so for this one as well let's do that so in this case it's going to be sr close like that so let's run the application okay so let's type something here and i will click new but that should work obviously because we didn't change anything we did that okay now let's open and as you can see the content from the file earlier has been pasted here and if i type something here like malindu and if i save that and i created a new document and then i open it then as you can see the text appears so that's how you can 
read and write text into and from files on your hard disk or whatever the storage device you're using so that's how to create a simple notepad which is not very useful because all it can do is create a new file and save a file and open a file and all of that is just hard coded into the application so the user cannot really choose where to save and which to open but we will add that functionality in the future so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please hit like and subscribe to see the future videos as well and i'll see you in the next one bye for now